Hello, it's Josh. I'm also a cranky Linux user. I've been working on a uh, really neat uh, node for my sensors called the NeoPixel node. And as you can see here on the floor, I've got a long strip, and it's a uh, NeoPixel strip, 39 of them, or WS2312s. Um, been working on the firmware for it, uh, for the Arduino, trying to get all the blocking code out. Got it mostly done. I've also been working with Node Red as well, and I have a nice chart that you can manipulate these NeoPixels dynamically and, like I said, almost non-blocking completely. Let me give you an example. Here, I'm going to go ahead and press the button for red. You see how quickly that goes? Okay, nice. I can do a rainbow. Nice gentle rainbow there, and it'll slowly rotate. I also have a speed control as well, so let's, uh, let's go ahead and go to the fast rainbow here. And it's going kind of it's going kind of fast, but not great. Let's speed it up some. Now you can really see it going back and forth. Oh wait, let's go ahead and do a theater chase. Well, fortunately with the theater chase, you have to set up the color initially, so we're going to do white. Okay, nice pretty white. Now I do theater chase, and now it does like you do in Broadway. So um, the theater chase does have a little. It is the only blocking code. Uh, I'm trying to figure it out, but it, at most is a 150 millisecond wait before your uh, next my sensors command comes in. So as an example, I press the rainbow button now, and it takes at most 150 mils. So not great, but not horrible. There is certainly room for improvement. But I'd like to open this up for anyone to use here. And the last little bit of prettiness. And there you have it.